r and beers we're gonna give you our top five tips to start a reptile breeding company in 2021 so stay tuned five tips five tips five tips five tips five tips five tips we're gonna give you our top five tips what qualifies you to give anybody tips because I'm smart say something smart science what say something smarter science again come on say something smart you can do it Science. Oh, that's pretty good. Keep going. Science again. I said science again. Let's move away from science. This is going to be totally algebraic. It's going to be so math. And to prove to you guys that I know what I'm talking about, I'm going to wear one of our fans sent us a shirt. I'm going to wear this for the video. This, I'll just put it on right now. So this is one of our friends, Alex Lackey. He breeds blue tongues, and he also breeds a bunch of dubia roaches, to be honest. But check this shirt out. It's beautiful. It's He really does have some awesome blue tongues, and uh, we enjoy him. He's a great guy. And so if you guys want to check him out, make sure you follow his Instagram, and he has... Uh, Instagram and face Facebook. Next Level Northerns, hashtag. That's right. Next, leather, next Level Northerns. Um, yeah, so now... Let's get on to the five tips. And also, make sure you guys, come here, look at this. Like and subscribe, share our stuff. Thanks. Ryan, I got the five tips written down here in your notebook. Just the plumbus and only the plumbus. Just the plumbus, only the plumbus. All right, so the top five tips, we're gonna start with tip number five and count our way down to the number one tip. So tip number five, and I have my trusty notebook here because it's all about planning. This first tip is actually about planning. It's to plan your proper equipment before you start getting out of control with your animals. Um, I've had a lot of people come to us and say, hey, you know, I'm buying all these animals. And I'm like, wow, that's cool. How's your quarantine rack? And I'm like, oh, you know, I really need to get one of those. And um, that kind of puts your, your whole collection at a risk. So planning the proper equipment before you invest into other things is the right way to go um, that doesn't mean that you can't make your own stuff that doesn't mean that you can't um, buy secondhand stuff or anything like that what I'm saying is make sure that you plan what you're gonna do equipment wise uh, to make sure that everything's proper and in its place and that you have space to properly care for the animals so that's tip number five as we count our way down to number one Tip number four is to be consistent on social media. I know a lot of people probably don't like that or don't want to deal with that, but something where you have a presence, and I'm not saying you have to be a YouTuber. I'm not saying that you have to be like, have 10,000 subs or 50,000 subs on Instagram. What I'm saying is that you have to be consistent to have a place where people, the general population, are going to be looking to find you. You have to be just somewhere that people can find you so if you have really awesome animals and you want to sell them because this is you know the top five tips for a business to be a business um, we all love our animals and things like that but there are things you got to do to be a business one of them is to be accessible so how do you do that it's by being consistent on social media that's one of the ways and you know answer the phone when people call at least that's what I do like at all times of the day all times all times <laughs> army reptiles flash my number <laughs> Um, being accessible, unfortunately, in this day and age, is about being on social media. Um, we do everything from Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, we don't do Twitter that much. We probably should. We're doing TikTok. Uh, we're just doing things so that people can see who we are, see that we're real people, and um, make sure that we're, you know, active and available so that people can find us. So that's tip number four. So tip number three might be a little controversial. Um, a lot of people will say out there, do whatever makes you happy. Do, you know, like, it, follow your passion. I, we, we, Ryan and I believe in that. I mean, we really do. You should follow the things that make you happy and, and follow your passion. But also, when you're building a business, you have to be a bit smart about it. Uh, the animals don't pay for themselves unless you're really trying to put an effort towards it. So our tip number three is to spend more dollars on fewer animals so really plan out what you're going to buy and also kind of, 
unfortunately you have to kind of go with some of the trends um, it's tough and it's it's not always great but the trends are are what people are buying up at the moment and sometimes it's hard to buy an animal and then you know know what it's gonna do in two years but you know you do your best and that's what we all do we try to pick up animals from different people and uh, different species even no we don't pick up animals from different species let's let's get that right we pick up different species of animals from different people so make sure that you guys are planning out where you're gonna get for us 2021 you know a lot of stuff is clown so that's a trend that I feel like isn't gonna go away anytime soon because all clowns look really cool um, some better than others obviously but also this year for us desert ghost puzzle Recessive is the way to go, really. Um, monsoon's another one that's coming, you know, that we're digging into. We have some sunset stuff, and I'm not saying that that's what you should dig into, but there are recessive things out there that have a lot of opportunity that people need to, you know, do things with. Also, some Kodam stuff, lorries, arroyos. I mean, those are our big bread and butter, like loving, passionate projects. They're not huge in dollars at the moment, but um, that's a project that I think is like something that you really can get behind. So, lace, lace, love lace. <laughs> so you heard it here first, folks. So when you get into recessive stuff, you have to plan for the future. This is one of our animals that we picked up from Bob Vu, and it is a pastel banana clown, female. So pastel banana clown. It has clown. It has a fun banana uh, codom in it, and it's female, and she's getting huge. Um, we're breeding her, and we are excited to see what she produces. But clown stuff is one of the ways to go. You really can't get out of that market. So I uh, can't go wrong with clown stuff. But our point is that you have to pick things that you're passionate about, yes, but also you have to try to stay with some of the trends. Um, though uh, there could be an argument that, like, you know, nobody's doing anything with special until Justin does. But um, but anyway, so you got to stay stick with the stuff that's trending, but also have your pet projects you know if you can afford to do that and if you have the space remember tip number five proper space so let's get on to tip number two our top two what's the top two tip number two getting our way to the top tip number two is to maybe ryan maybe you should say from the background because this is really something that you're passionate about you got to streamline your processes son well, one of the things that ryan does he deals with the animals a lot more than i do I'm pretty much all more than I do, but uh, I do get in here a little bit, not a lot. Um, but he, one of the things that he's really good at is streamlining his processes. He develops a system so that when he does something, he can do it quicker and quicker. When you have like 10 animals, it's not so bad to go in and like wash your ceramic bowls and things like that. But when you start getting into a few hundred animals or more, you start having to be like, hey, look, man, I can't spend six hours washing ceramic bowls and also ceramic bowls weigh a lot and all that stuff so if there's ways you can streamline uh your processes it's a way to save time time is money i know this video sounds like there's a lot about money in it and there is because we're talking about being a business so you have to do things to help improve your business so that you can spend more money on animals the things that you're passionate about and work with the things that you're passionate about um it's kind of just the way it is. Unfortunately, it's not all about money. Everybody but. wants to act like money is a dirty word when it comes to working in this, but you can love what you're doing and be passionate about something and monetize it. It's not, the two things aren't divergent. <laughs> That's right. Um, so let's get into our number one. How about our number one tip for 2021 on starting a reptile breeding company? The number one tip is something that's really, really important, especially this time of year, uh, or this year even, is being positive in the community. So we as reptile breeders are a huge community of people. Um, people are super important to me. A lot of reptile people would say that people aren't as important as the animals. Um, to me personally, I really love the people. Now, I love the animals too, and you can have both, but realize if you're being negative towards the community, then the whole structure starts to fall apart. It's so much better to be positive. One of the ways you do that is by becoming a member of a herpological society. Like Ryan is just became, and I also just became, uh, actually it's been a little while, but we just got our badges. Or right, flex our membership to Madison Area Herpetological Society, official member. 
That's right. Great people, great fun. It's not near us, but it's something that I know they're very active, and we know the people that work there. It's just a way to connect. So that's one way is doing Herbological Society memberships, um, doing local stuff with herb people, uh, trying to educate people, being positive out there. The other way is US ARC. Uh, US ARC, US ARC Florida. Um, they, there's just so much going on right now where people are trying to take away your right to keep the animals that you want. So it's a big deal for us to be part of the US ARC team. Uh, we are members actually three times over and we're thinking, and we always give extra money throughout the year. Um, so this is one of those things where it's like, you gotta do it. Um, it's, it's not terrible to be a bronze member is $5 a month at $60 a year, $60 a year. It's not that bad. Uh, just to be part of something. Actually only $40. Like if you're a student, you could. People have been posting up their bronze memberships and it's been saying 40 bucks. So. Really? Well, 40 bucks seems... 40, 60, whatever it is. Give them 100, shut up. <laughs> Whatever you can do, even if it's a one-time donation of five bucks, it's still something to help out. Um, and so we buy a lot of their merchandise, we tell people we support it, and uh, it's not just for the one or couple species you work with, maybe you guys work with 50 species, I don't know, but it's not just for one animal, it's for tons of animals. They're our legal arm, and it's a very big uphill battle, so make sure you guys are supporting US ARC. Uh, if you guys don't know how, there's a link in the description below. There's a link in the description of every video we do. Um, you can also reach out to us and we'll tell you how to, to take care of that and how to be involved. So be positive, be uh, a helping hand, be an educator. These are the things that help develop the community which develops the market. So you guys were thinking that I'm just trying to be all you know soft and talk about, oh, you know, you gotta be like happy to everybody. It's not just about that to develop the community helps to develop the market, which is a good business move too. So there's two positives there. It's a double-edged sword. The more positive you can do, the better your business will be. Um, there's a lot of people out there that say something dumb or you know, react poorly on social media, and it really you know, tanks their business. And we don't like to see that. We, we just wanna keep people learning and have them be able to be passionate about the animals. So that's our top five. If you guys really like these top fives, make sure you guys check out one of these other videos. We have a couple playlists here. Check them out. They're a lot of fun content from us. So we'll see you on the next video. That like kind of disappears into the darkness, but like that big glad thing was like... It uh, shoots a magic missile into the darkness. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All you D&D fans. Sorcerer of Light. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. Ends office hours between 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. <laughs> Eastern Standard Time. Uh, that's the worst, but it happens. <laughs> so.